Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I think I got a good one for you today. We're going to have some pelicans. We're going to have Eugene. We're going to have some sea chickens. You know, there's someone that has never rolled the intro before. And he's been with us from day one. <clears throat> hey, Dennis, roll my intro. No, I'm not doing it. So we have seen this guy before. And the owner told me when they have the door open, this guy will come right in and uh, go up to their holding tank where they keep the bait and help himself and they also have a blue herring here that'll do that but I haven't caught that but I find it pretty interesting he's just waiting his turn cranes and storks have such patience I don't see much hints of there being dolphins here today I thought I caught a glimpse of a fin here and there, but nothing I could definitely say was a uh, dolphin. I know the uh, pelicans over there were chasing something around, but I couldn't tell if I was just seeing a part of a fish or a standard dolphin fin. And for you people that correct me and say, they are porpoises. They are not porpoises. You might want to Google and uh, check out the difference between dolphins and porpoises and the fact that there are no porpoises in the Gulf of Mexico. You can uh, use the magic box to your benefit to learn things. And of course, you can check 10 different sites and get 10 different opinions about any subject. But for now, I'm having a good time watching the people come by in the boats and checking on the pelicans. You know, I'm not the first person to point out that through all the pandemic and the polar vortexes and loss of power, they do a great job keeping us uh, supplied in beer, don't they? We ought to take the people that deliver this beer and put them in charge of the post office. That way we might get a letter or a package at a decent time. It's all about priorities, isn't it? Controlled burns still going on in other areas today. learning a lot about controlled burns from you guys and your comments how it contributes to global warming and how you could get different types of animals like goats to do this and they leave free fertilizer I'm sure there's all kinds of pros and cons that I have no idea of Just going through the pantry here. 
We're going to go with the chicken pot pie Campbell's Chunky Soup. Some nights it's uh, tailgate cuisine. And some nights it's, uh, what do you want to call this, guys? Truck stop slop. There you go. <laughs> in honor of my friend Tracy Phillips. We're going to add a cracker or two in there. Cream soup just needs crackers. Any type of cream soup. There's some long shadows. There's me waving to you. There's all the uh, smoke in the sky from the controlled burns in the area. You can see it's still going pretty good over there. And the wind is uh, kind of carrying it. Let me enjoy my grub. Got some fishermen. Older couple. Older. They're like eight minutes older than me. <laughs> well, guys, I've gone to several doctors this week because the fun never ends. And uh, I think it might be time for some crazy pills. I thought I was having panic attacks. Look at the sun on my arm. I think some drugs would help that, help me really enjoy this part. Just the sun on my arm. Um, what I thought was panic attacks, and I described the symptoms to my doctor. And he said that's a possibility, but uh, could also be vertigo. And I was like, what does that have to do with an Alfred Hitchcock movie? I, I don't understand, but um, I have a friend with both and sometimes they're tied in together. I know only about 30% of the people that get vertigo are men. So, boom. Lucky me. But now i got to figure out what to do about it. Is it safe to drive for Uber? Am I just making up some excuses? What's going on in the magic kingdom between my ears, you know? So that's something else to consider. I can't really say I'm worried about it because whatever happens, happens. But we'll have to look at some medications and things like that and see if I can uh, suck it up buttercup and do what I have to do. We talked about how we're over the years, especially the last 20 years, I've kind of pulled away from people and uh, not enjoyed their company like I used to. I was always very social, very eager to please people and chip in and help out. And sometimes if you stick your hand in the fire too much, you realize after a while, hey, that's how I got burnt. Okay. So we're going to see what we can do about that. At least if I go see a therapist, it'll be nice to lay down on a real couch. <laughs> like, really? You got a couch over there? You, you have a television? <laughs> My doctor said... Uh, you have vertigo and panic attacks. And I said, I, I, I really want a second opinion. He said, okay, you're fat and ugly too. Boom. Comedy gold at my expense right there, folks. Comedy gold. I had a good talk with my doctor. We discussed uh, all that. He is fascinated that I live in my truck. Eugene is here to mooch some food. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's a good guy. He's very impressed that I've been going to him for 13 years and have always refused painkillers. 
I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in that office that has refused them. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Feed Eugene. Oh, the magic is going to happen. Hey, guys. I don't want to interrupt Eugene's dinner. Thanks for riding along. Go. Oh, he's a happy boy. He got fed. Thanks for watching, everyone. Seriously, you can go now. This is, nothing good happens after this.